Hello viewers, welcome to our Unity Android game development channel. This is our second episode. Now that we have set up our environment for developing games in our PC, we will start developing our first game. Before starting, I want to demonstrate a simulation of what we are building. this game I have named it Box Flappy this is like the Flappy Bird game but with different apps when our bird touches these spikes it will die so this is very simple and a cool stuff so let's get started so here we are after launching our unity we will create our first project click the new button this will be a 2d project so we will select 2d we will name our game the box flappy name the game box flappy choose your location your suitable location for the development for the game and we will press then press create project after opening our project the layout layout should be different let me make the after opening the first time the unity 3d engine you will see a layout like this or similar to this i have created a similar look at the first time you will run unity 3d engine in your pc so this is our first project the unity projects are constructed with scenes we can see our project tree here there is nothing we already have we we didn't create nothing and this is the hierarchy of your a game scene here you will see the name of your scene so let's create our first scene before creating scene we will arrange our project in folders it is always better to arrange your project in folders we will have a scene we will have images I am making a mistake every time I am creating a folder it is become a subtree of our previous folder so to avoid this mistake you must click outside of the folders then press create then it will create a new folder in the project tree we will have our scripts we will create more folders as we need in upcoming videos we will save the scene in the scenes folder and we will name it game play now see the name has not changed from untitled from the gameplay so first we will create our 
bird animation or import our images you can import images in various ways you can drag and drop or you can click here in the right button and you can call import new asset I will try to import all the asset by drag and drop select them all and put them in the images folders we will be developing games for Android so we need to change the platform to Android go to build settings here you you will find platform I have downloaded downloaded the Android platform and by clicking the switch platform my project has been switched to Android platform this is it we are ready for our game making now we will work with our sprites or images if you click any image in the inspector panel you will see its resolution and its size if we click any sprite or image we can see its properties in the inspector panel we have learned how to manage your tool we have learned how to switch the platform now we will learn about how to slice your sprites every sprite has its size here this is not the actual memory size of your image this is the size that it will take in your mobile or in your game in the data folder the total size of your game will be calculated with these sizes so what we have learned this size isn't the actual size of this image rather it indicates the size that it will take in your storage your phone storage or you will iOS storage whatever the platform you're building now we will sprite our sheet uh, excuse me now we will slice our sprite the texture type will be sprite 2d and ui sprite mode single we will uncheck this generate map maps this this is needed for unity 3d environment we are making unity 2d game so this won't be needed anymore we will override it for android and we can select the compression format to true color similarly we will slice our sprite before using it in our game now we will learn to slice our sprite or sprite sheet uncheck the generate map map and this will be sprite mode multiple because this is a sprite sheet this contains multiple sprites will keep it as it is uh, ap hit apply and we are done now we edit our sprite Just type automatic ok slice you can see our sprite sheet has been sliced unity is very good at this the sprite editor tool is very good and you don't need to edit the man edit them manually you can see that the sprites has been sliced in different images this is all the images you can click on an image and you can see the name you can delete any abstract part 
okay i will delete this and so we have these sprites and we can rename this we'll name this to bluebird one simply copy and paste it this will be excuse me bluebird two Bluebird three, Bluebird four. In this way, you can rename all the sprites. So I will skip this part. Now that we have renamed, now that we have renamed all our sprite slices, do not forget to apply. After hit the applying button, all the sprites are renamed to your desired names, and you can see them from here. Bluebird one two three four, green bird and red bird. So this is it. We have done the slicing sprite. Now let's head to the animation part. We can see our bird here look here if i go up and down it seems the bird is flapping how can we do it in our unity engine simply select our first three bird this will be our animation of flapping drag and drop here so we will create a new folder for animations inside animation we'll create another folder name bluebird animation we'll name it bluebird excuse me bluebird flapping bluebird flapping we have created our animation of bluebird flapping now we will go to the, our window select the animation and we need the animator window first come to this animation window let me rename to bluebird 1 set the position to 0 0 now if we we can run our animation from here if you run your animation we can see our bird is flapping excuse me let me disable the camera now we are not seeing anything here we have to click our bluebird then you will see the animation clip or in the animator window if you do not click the bluebird there will be nothing here or there so first we have to select our bluebird then come to the animation window and if we run this we can see from here our bird is flapping now this is it our bird is flapping so we have successfully created our animation now this will be not more we need three more states one bluebird flapping and we need a idle state we need a dead state for creating state 
we will create first a new clip that will be an animation clip we will name it idle we will select the bird that is horizontal flapping there are three bird sprites we will select the middle one and drag it here please be careful look at the mouse cursor this is the idle clip for idle clip I have drag and drop the sprite here so our idle animation or idle clip has been created we need another clip this will be dead the bird is dead not I am dead okay the bluebird 4 is the dead sprite drag and drop here do not forget to check the clip this is dead clip and the dead so bluebird flapping has this bluebird idle dead now we need to link the states there are three clips bluebird flapping idle and dead our bird will be default a idle bird it will only flap if our user clicks the button or click touch the screen to flap the bird so we will set the default state as idle we will make transition to bluebird flapping another transition from bluebird flapping to idle we will end need to dead idle from make transition to dead look there is no backlink to from dead to idle or from dead to bluebird flapping because if our bird is dead we do not need to change the state now to change this state from idle to bluebird flapping or bluebird flapping to idle we need some parameters we will create the parameter a trigger parameters we will name it flap parameter and die parameter and we need to assign from idle see in the inspector panel the condition is list is empty hit the plus button and you will see the flap similarly flap from bird flapping to dead we need the trigger to will trigger die and from idle to dead will trigger also die so this is it we have successfully created our bluebird animation and the animation states do not forget to select the bluebird here and the animation to see the animation and animator component of this bluebird so thank you for watching the video please do subscribe for latest updates and do not forget to like share and comment if you have any problem understanding my code or my work share your opinion we will respond as soon as possible and do not forget to subscribe see you in the next episode thank you yeah.